I rented a car and just got into it and just started driving. I had no destination in mind, nothing that I wanted to see, nowhere that I had to be. And one of the great benefits of doing this alone was I could stop where I want, do what I want, when I want. I didn't have to worry about anybody else but me. All I know is I just had to be back in two and a half weeks and rest is history. So I kind of had a- um, So it was like 100% impromptu. Yep, 100%. Wow. And um, that, there was no fear. You had no fear when you said, I'm just going to go without a plan. I'm going to go. Yes. The awesome. only thing I had in mind was I wanted to get to the West Coast because- um, Okay. Like the Northern California part, because I've been to San Diego before. Um, I loved it out there. Beautiful. But I wanted to, and I didn't want to just fly out there and see the West Coast. I wanted to actually drive. So I wanted to see what America has to offer. And so mm -hmm. I hopped in my car in Cincinnati and uh, I'll take you through the journey. But uh, Neil say I did a big circle around the United States, not here and back, just one big circle. Mm -hmm. And so I left Cincinnati, went to um, via Indianapolis, I'll give you a quick overview real quick, then we'll go back. Okay. We'll yeah. About certain parts. But went from Cincinnati to Indianapolis, to St. Louis, to Kansas City, to Omaha, Scenic Falls, to um, West Coast, or the west part of uh, South Dakota, through Wyoming, through uh, Idaho, then through the entire state of Oregon, made it to the coast, then down the coast um, to Los Angeles, then to Phoenix, then to Dallas, and then to Houston, to um, Key West, all the way at the bottom of Key West, then up the entire coast of um, East Coast, up to Virginia Beach, then to Washington, D.C., and then the back to Cincinnati. So wow. that trip in total was 9,200 miles, and it took me 15 days to do it. And, um, 15 days is pretty quick, right? You yes, didn't stay was, very long at any of those places that you stopped at. No. And I was probably traveling in my car, depending on the day, eight to 11 hours a day traveling in the wow. car, um, which if you think you're sleeping for, you know, I only end up sleeping probably six to seven hours on average. Um, so I only had maybe, you know, four to six hours of like stopping here and there to Mm -hmm. eat, use the bathroom and whatnot. But the one thing I did that shocked is probably one of the most shocking things about the entire trip was I knew I was going to be on the road a lot. And to me, it didn't necessarily make sense to find a hotel, go through the whole registration process, then to sleep for, you know, five, six hours, if, if that, only to wake up at sunrise to get back on the road right so i was like you know what i'm gonna sleep in my car so i rented um an suv slept in the car and what i would do is um i would park i would be strategic about this i would as the night was coming along i would look on my uh, phone and look at gps and like where's the nearest plan of fitness which plan of fitness is like a gym um it's like gold gym la fit or la fitness i think it's called yeah anyways mm -hmm. um Planet Fitness, I would park next, as close as I could get to Planet Fitness. I would wake up, go there, shower, because they um, have showers in the gym. I would shower, then they get back on the road and start driving again. So it literally cost me nothing to <laughs> sleep in my car and to shower the next day. And Planet No Fitness, excuses for anybody listening out there. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and that was like the weirdest thing that like, people would get like, so did you shower? Like, did you stink? I'm like, no, I would just park next to Planet Fitness and... I would go use the shower and that would be about it. Okay. Now, of course, they're not everywhere. So there may, I think the most I went was two days without a shower, mm -hmm. but it was like, I didn't, I showered Friday morning and I didn't shower again until Sunday morning. So it wasn't like two full days. Well, it wasn't like you were out, you know, playing sports or running a marathon either. You know? Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was like kind of the, the, the most unique thing was I got to, uh, or I guess the most different thing was I got to go randomly to gyms and, shower and then leave um, so that was different and one thing that kept me awake I, I guess you can say because most people are like most people hate driving right they don't like 
driving more than 30 minutes. And here right. I am. It's quite monotonous, especially when you're driving for hours on end and parts of America that are long stretches of nothing, you know, you can just make somebody a bit sleepy. So I was a bit curious about that too. How did you stay awake and focused that whole time? So for me, the, the first thing was I'd love just sightseeing, like seeing stuff mm-hmm. that I've never seen before in my life. And so the entire time I'm driving, which this may not be the safest thing, but it's, you know, I'm driving down the road, I'm just looking the entire time, like, oh, yeah, this is so awesome. You know, I'm seeing this great stuff. You know, granted, most of the time you're out on these long stretches of highway, so you don't have to worry about traffic or anything, as long as, like, you know, you, you know, check every so often, make sure there's nothing coming up. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, you're just checking out the scenery, um, listening to podcasts and kept me kind of going, like, most people probably would listen to music, but like I went to like, I wouldn't say learn, but something that would intrigue me as well as watching what's going on around me. And then, um, yeah, something like podcasts. That's really good when people are driving. Cause I do the same thing when you're driving, it kind of engages the brain. Whereas music to me, at least kind of turns it off. And yes, there are times yep, where yep. you get sleepy listening to that music. Right. So po- right. yeah, podcasts are great to listen to when driving. And um, probably the, the thing that uh, helped out the most besides like looking at stuff was um, eating sunflower seeds. You're mm. thinking sunflower seeds, but yeah. So it's the constant motion of reaching in the bag, putting the mouth. And then I try not to litter. That's just not my style. So I would <laughs> take the seeds out, put it in a cup, grab more seeds. So it was that constant motion of seeds and, and all that. So that kept my, me moving and focused as well mm-hmm. as listening to the podcast. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's what kind of kept me going along the entire route. 